this is Emily Elliott and this is my internship in educational technology presentation computer lab collaboration class. A brief overview of my internship. For my internship I taught a class for elementary computer lab teachers. Um, the focus of this class was on technology and curriculum integration and we offered 20 hours of recertification credit for teachers um, as an incentive to register and participate in the class. Um, it's a goal of Charleston County School Districts to put um, certified teachers in computer labs and make sure that they are teaching curriculum standards uh, with technology, not teaching technology skills in isolation or merely implementing software such as Read 180 or SuccessMaker. The goals and objectives for this class were twofold. One, for one, I had the internship goal, which was to design and deliver professional development in the area of technology integration. Um, in designing the course, I also had to come up with class goals and objectives. Um, the overall class goal was to provide computer lab teachers in the district with a collaborative environment in which to share ideas, successes, and challenges. The class was made up of two components, a face-to-face -face component and an online component. I'm going to briefly talk about both. The face-to-face -face component was um, consisted of five class meetings, um, one of which actually hasn't happened yet, and will meet we'll meet for the last time the fifth class meeting in January when we come back from Christmas break each class meeting is two and a half hours long um, the one in January will actually be an entire day of professional development and I'm excited about that um, we held it in the computer lab of a North Charleston elementary school actually of North Charleston elementary school uh, it's a brand new school it's beautiful and it's got a wonderful computer lab um, and I think that the face-to-face -face meetings contributed to the community building and the relationships that were built. Um, I think it was an important part. Uh, the, a lot of computer lab teachers in the district f have stated, stated that they feel isolated um, f because we're not always considered when professional development is being um, designed or, or um, planned for. So we don't always get a chance to network or see each other like art teachers would or music teachers would. So that was why face to face, the face to face component was an important part of this class. The other part was um, an online component in which I used eChalk, uh, which is the learning management system that Charleston County School District uses, uh, to create a group page in lieu of a class page because the system wouldn't let me do that with teacher users. I, I wanted a place where we could continue to interact between um, the long periods of time between class meetings. Um, I also wanted a place where teachers could reflect on the ideas they were getting from the class and implementing in their computer labs. Um, this proved to be a challenge, however, because as I found that the reflections were a little um, forced synthetic. I was not really pleased, but it, it did. they did get better as I modeled and encouraged teachers to continue to reflect on the discussion page. I'm going to share with you a few screenshots of what the computer lab collaboration group page looked like. Um, you can see here that there is an, um, an events area here, an announcement area, Here's the discussion board and the resources area. Um, I wanted discussion, the discussion board to be solely for reflection. However, this folder of resources I would like to share got added by a technology integration specialist. Um, and so teachers started just posting resources, which were wonderful, but they weren't doing any reflection. Um, I also thought it would be easier to find the resources if we actually put them in the resources area. Um, to encourage this, I gave all members um, ad content privileges within the group, but I don't think anyone has to date added any resources on this side. Um, they will need, however, to 
upload their favorite things, which is their course portfolio, to this folder. So hopefully that will change. This is just a screenshot of a discussion thread. Um, this one happened to be about eChalk and how teachers are using it in their class. Um, this is actually a long, this was one of the um, reflections that I tried to model. You can see that it's actually a little bit longer, but it will only um, show up till that point. Um, this was the point where um, the reflections got a bit better. You can see a lot of people did contribute to the discussion. This was one discussion that people responded to and actually had the most authentic responses and um, passionate responses, but it was not about a topic planned for class. It was about the district technology plan that's being revised this year. Um, and I believe, in, uh, after reflecting on this myself, that the reason these posts are so much more authentic is that the topic is so much more authentic, and it also has it affects our daily lives as professionals in technology in the school district, um, and have, being able to, to have our voices heard and put our input out there was important to us. So definitely the next time I teach any kind of class with a discussion board, I'll make sure that the posts, um, or the prompts rather, are more authentic, more provocative, um, and more discussion generating. In conclusion, um, the class will finish in January, and the online component will actually extend through to the rest of the year and possibly beyond that um, with me maintaining it. Um, I definitely feel that this was a success and that I've met all the objectives that I laid out in my contract and that we laid out for the class itself in the syllabus. Um, this is evidenced by the community of teachers that's, that has been built. There are relationships that have formed the teachers have helped each other, supported each other, gone into each other's school, observed lessons, helped implement new software and um, peripheral applications like smart boards. Um, and I think that when they present their portfolios in January, we'll really see even more evidence of the goal of technology integration and collaboration being made. You can read more about my experience at the reflect my reflection of the internship experience found at this URL, and um, you can access more literature on online professional development and its successes and challenges at this URL. Thank you for listening to my presentation.